Fox News claims that DNA is not a match, but dental records confirm it's Brian Laundrie. I go over that, plus rain totals, and much more in today's video. Also, today's missing person is Penelope Mitchell. She will be featured at the end of my video, so please stay till the end for that. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, where we cover murder, mystery, to the paranormal. So we know that the water bottle found matches the same one that Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito had in their van. It was discovered over the weekend around the area of where Brian Laundrie's remains were found. Here is a small clip. So we're looking for other stuff in the area where Brian Laundrie's remains were. My mom just said that she found an orange spray, like orange spray paint. Mom, how did you get through here? There's rattlesnakes in here. There's a water bottle right here. <gasps> Holy, whoa, 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 I just found something, I just found something. Oh my God. Okay. I found something really, this is, this is, I think a water bottle, it says, it looks, I don't know, it could be, hold on. I'm not supposed to touch it, but it, I can't touch it, but it says, it's like Seattle, Washington. So there was some confusion on who found it because I believe Jonathan Riches had walked up to the group that was doing the TikTok video shortly after they had discovered the water bottle. And with speculations of planting evidence going around, I figured I would address who was around that area. So Fox News put in their heading, no DNA match or cause of death for Brian Laundrie after school was found and this has a lot of people wondering if they actually have Brian Laundry or someone else. I believe they are explaining that they have not recovered DNA to match at this time but the dental records were clearly a match for Brian Laundry. Also I came across some precipitation totals at the Big Sloth and it goes back from before when Brian Laundry had left and after his remains were found. As we look at this graph Notice that the totals didn't spike until September 25th, well after Brian Laundrie had taken off. And then you see in these two photos, both aerial views of the area of where Brian Laundrie's remains were found. Notice that it was flooded on September 28th, but on October 20th, there was no water visible. So it wasn't really flooded after Brian Laundrie went into the reserve. So why did the authorities go so far away from where he left his car. If you want a more detailed explanation of where they were and where Brian Laundrie's remains were found, I break that down in my other video, so please check that out. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel and shout out to my new members Jackie Blue, Angie White, Deborah L, Kapal. Thank you so much. If you want to become a member, it's really cheap. Also, don't forget to smash that like button in honor of Gabby Petito. Today's missing person is Penelope Mitchell. She was last seen in North Las Vegas. Thank you so much and take care.